Welcome back to Rotomoto. My name is Donnie. This video is brought to you by O'Neill, and in this one, we're going to go over all 22 riders that are lining up to race in Cardiff this weekend, breaking down all 10 teams in addition to the two wildcard riders entering the fray. Going alphabetical, we will start with the Bud Racing Squad, where we'll see Cedric Subaros as well as Adrian Escoffier mounted on Kawasaki's. Cedric should be familiar to fans of Monster Energy Supercross as he's made multiple appearances stateside, debuting in 2008 and appearing in four of the past five seasons. Subs won the French Motocross Championship in 2013 and was most recently the Paris Supercross Vice Champion in 2021. Escoffier is a two-time French Supercross champion who turned pro in 2012 and doesn't have any credits in the US or a World Series indoor or out. Craig Dack heads up CDR Yamaha, an Australian-based team with 39 national championships under their belt. In the 450 class, they will bring American-born Josh Hill and Australian Luke Cloud into the fray. Josh is, of course, the older brother of 2017 250 Monster Energy Supercross champion Justin Hill. Big Hill was the 2012 Australian Supercross Spice champion and a single win in the premier class of the AMA Supercross in his rookie year. Luke Clout turned pro in 2013 and is a former Australian Supercross and Motocross champion on a 450, as well as an outdoor champion in the 250 class. In 2020, Luke came over to the States and was running 7th in the 250 West Championship before COVID struck, ending his season prematurely. Club MX Yamaha is arguably one of the most successful privateer teams today, operated by Brandon Haas. They will bring two very popular American privateers in Grant Harlan and Cade Clayson aboard their white and blue Yamahas. Grant is just 21 years old and earned national number 65 in 2021. He was most recently seen racing for the Tai Loop Honda squad indoors in 2022 before shifting to the privateer Kawasaki outdoors where he finished the season strong with an 11th overall in the premier class at Fox Raceway. Cade turned pro in 2014 and was a relatively successful privateer until his career was derailed by WADA in 2017. He returned in 2020 and most recently raced for the SGB Honda squad where he finished 21st in 450 competition with a best place finish of 10th in Detroit. Team GSM is another France-based squad led by Serge Goudetti. They're led by Anthony Bourdon and Thomas Hermet in their premier class. The 24-year-old Bourdon turned pro in 2017 and wasted no time making an impact, becoming the French MX champion in 2020. But he has very little World Series competition and has never been seen in AMA competition. Remet is a multi-time French Supercross champion as well as a four-time Arena Cross champ in the UK. He also made a brief splash racing a 250 in the States in 2018 with three top 10 finishes in four main event appearances. The Australian Honda Genuine Honda Racing, principled by Yariv Konsky, has the most rider recognition in the field, with worldwide superstars Ken Roxon and Dean Wilson at the helm of the 450 class. Ken needs no introduction, he's one of the most winningest riders in AMA Supercross history, as well as a two-time pro motocross champion on a 450 and a one-time world champion on the little bike. His teammate Dean Wilson joins the Honda squad after racing Austrian bikes for the better part of the last decade. The 31-year-old Wilson has turned pro in 2010 and has nine combined 250 race wins, despite one of the worst injuries witnessed at round 13 in St. Louis that cost him the rest of the season. Dean still managed to finish top 10 in the premier class of AMA Supercross in 2022. The second of three Honda squads is the Italian Honda Nils squad, head up by Livia Lancelot and fielding Jordi Tixier and Angelo Pellegrini. The French-born Tixier turned pro in 2012 and was an MX2 world champion in 2014. He finished 18th this year in MXGP competition, but has never competed in AMA Supercross. The Italian Pellegrini has been racing pro for 15 years and was crowned the Genoa 250 Supercross champ in 2006. Angelo qualified for a total of seven main events in AMA Supercross competition with a best of 11th in 2012 on an RMZ 250. MDK Motorsports is one of two teams fielding multiple manufacturers under the tent with infamous venture capitalist Mark Vom acting as team principal. They will send out the great Chad Reed on a KTM and national number earning Josh Grant on a Honda. Reed needs no introduction as he's been one of the faces of the sport for over two decades, amassing 44 race wins and two championships along the way. 
Grant was a longtime factory rider with Premier Class Win to his credit, who officially retired with the Monster Energy Kawasaki squad in 2018, but did return as a fill-in rider in 2019 for the factory Yamaha squad. Moto Concepts Honda is another of the most revered privateer teams in the history of our sport, led by Mike Genova. They are bringing in two longtime collaborators with Justin Brayton and Vince Freezy. Brayton is arguably the most accomplished World Supercross rider in history, with four Australian Supercross championships, holding the record as the oldest rider to win a Premier Class race in AMA history, and finishing his highest fourth in the standings back in 2012. Vince Freeze has a reputation as one of the most aggressive riders on the gate and will no doubt make for great moments in this short series. After turning pro in 2009, Vince actually had his best season of his career in 2022 at the age of 31. Splitting time between both classes, Vince finished 6th in the 250 West competition in addition to scoring 96 points in the Premier class. Dustin Pipes will lead the Pipes Motorsport Group, or PMG for short, an offshoot of the HEP Twisted T Suzuki team will bring two popular privateers in Justin Starling and Freddie Noren to Cardiff. Starling turned pro in 2012 and was a regular top 10 threat in the 250 class before moving full time to the big class in 2021. Justin had himself a banner year in 2022, capping off a 16th place finish in the championship with a career best ninth at the finale in Salt Lake. Factory Freddy is best known as everyone's favorite fill-in rider in the States. The Swedish-born rider has competed in the U.S. since 2011, finishing as high as 8th outdoors in the Premier Class in 2019, as well as a career-best 8th place finish indoors in Atlanta in 2017. And finally, NASCAR's Rick Ware Racing, obviously operated by Rick Ware, will line up Joey Savacci and Ryan Brees on the gate for the inaugural season of World Supercross. Savacci turned pro in 2012 and was one corner away from becoming the 2017 250 West Supercross champion before moving up and earning the honor of being the 450 Rookie of the Year in 2019. He was most recently seen filling in for the injured Adam Cianciarolo at Factory Kawasaki, and he will stick with the green bike this fall. His teammate Ryan Brees will instead race a Yamaha, the longtime privateer has been racing pro since 2015 and has two career top 10 finishes in the Premier class. Brees recently had his best season ever in 2022, finishing 17th overall in AMA competition. There are also two wild cards entering the fray for the opening round. The big one is obviously Eli Tomac coming off arguably his best season ever, sweeping both the indoor and outdoor 450 title in the US, as well as bringing home a gold medal for the red, white, and blue for the first time in a decade. Joining him on the gate as a wild card is British-born Jack Brunel, an accomplished Supercross rider in his own country. Jack's inaugural season in the States didn't go as planned this year as he suffered a fractured wrist in the opener and never really got rolling from there. It will be interesting how he stacks up against the best the world has to offer this weekend in Cardiff. And there you have it, the 450 team guide for World Supercross. I wanted to get all 44 riders in both classes in here, but just didn't have the time to squeeze them in and get this video out in time. If I'm able to make another video before the series kicks off, I'll be sure to leave a link in the pinned comments or I will throw it up right over my face at the end of this video. Thanks as always for watching Rotomoto. My name is Donnie. Keep it pinned to the weekend.